Oh, boy. Uh, this man's always surrounded by controversy, and today is no different than any other day in his life. Please welcome boxing promoter Don King. Can we tell them that that's a gift? Oh, absolutely. This, I just, this just, uh, you know, struck my attention. <laughs> Who was that from? Uh, Mike Tyson. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, it's so good to be back with you again, Arsenio. Well, well thank you for stopping yes. by. I, I really appreciate yes, it. a delight. And you have such a grand audience, just the most fabulous I audience. I got the best. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about all the things that are going on in your life. First of all, there's a PBS show. Have you seen the show? Yes, I have. Okay, it, it, the episode is called Don King Unauthorized, and uh, I guess the show is called Frontline? Yes. What do you think of this? I mean, I, I, you... <laughs> it was trash, man. What they did, it went back 30 years, 20 years, 10 years is the earliest charge, with a frustrated FBI agent who was looking for ghosts trying to find me doing something which I wasn't doing and he couldn't find it. He became a failure. I like I liked him to Javert in Les Miserables, you know, Inspector Javert against John Claude, who's the guy who went to the jail like I went to jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He came out and become successful. But this guy just conjured up lies. He made me all kind of ties with the mob. Yeah. Maddie the horse, yeah. you know, I well, yeah, let's, let's start right there. Yeah. Um, any mob ties? No mob ties whatsoever, and I'm not going to allow them to take away the achievements and accomplishments of a black American. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I love this country. That's why I always say only in America. You know what I mean? They're not going to attribute it to no one else. I did it. The nigga did it. Yeah. Right. Okay, uh, don't use that word. Oh, I know. It's I... so difficult for you. Well, it is difficult because the word was created as a weapon against black people, and I hate when we use it for ourselves because we aren't niggas. We are great people. Great people. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. For me, man. Yes, for me. I'm going to do that for you. Yeah. I'm going to do that for you. But the weapon is the weapon, what they say would be bad, you make it good. You don't have to just deny any word. I don't want anything a racist created. Yeah. I don't want it. You know? Well, you I mean, you, I, don't, I, 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 have, I, have, I understand I it, and I go, with, I go with you with that. I don't want anything they create just because you don't want no evil thoughts. You want thoughts of promoting friendship, unanimity, and zeal. Positiveness, you know what I mean? But you must understand the whole scenario to deal with positiveness. You can't hide cancer because you don't like it. Yeah. You must deal with it. You must bring it out in the open so you can diagnose the case and you can make a, a, a prescribe a treatment. So we want a better America. We want to remove it, eradicate it. You can't sweep it under the rug as though it don't exist, but let's go on with life. You know what I mean? But let's understand the iniquities and injustices and let's remove them from the scene so people can be people. And people are our greatest asset. I love people, all races, yeah. colors, creeds, and religions. We could, we could go forever on that. Yes, but, yes. Let's you know, move on back you know. to the to the yeah. scene of this character assassination. You know, I've seen I've seen uh, Goodfellas and and The Godfather. Actually, don't you have to be Italian to be in the mob? They don't let <laughs> they don't let blacks in the mob. No, I mean when yeah, I see these I'm movies, uh, all all the movies like the Duvall character and and then in Goodfellas, they always say to actually be in. You have to be a part of the family or whatever it is, the Cosa Nostra. Uh, however, I am not a part of that, and they don't let blacks into the mob. Until you get to be successful, then they attribute it and put you with a 30-year tie, like uh, this guy, uh, Jack Newfield. Jack Newfield, as I said, in that thing is a scumbag. Why do I, why would I say that a man is a scumbag? The man is an who, American. Who, who is this man? He's a, he's a journalist. He was supposed to be a political uh, writer and a pundit. But the man is biased, you understand what I mean? He's extremely a prejudice. And what he has done over the years of I've been in this business of right, scathing indictment after scathing indictment, I had a friend named Harold Conrad who made three appointments with this man who was one of the great writers and one of the bo boxing publicists. Uh, this guy, Harold Conrad, wrote many books. But he, he would uh, talk to Jack Newfield. Jack Newfield would say, okay, I'm going to get the other side of the story. Never did. He stood us up on every time. So the journalistic creed is uh, fair play. You understand what I mean? Fairness, objectivity, impartiality. He wasn't fair, objective, or impartial. Mm -hmm. 
So therefore, I would not talk to him. Then he's obsessed with me. He wants to write a book. He makes his living off of me. That's what's so weird about this thing. Here's a guy that makes his living off of me, unauthorized, following me around, trying to find something. When he can't find it, he makes up lies and he paints a, a very egregious, evil picture that he puts onto the television screen for American consumption. What? You know, yeah. let okay, me... Okay, but a lot of, a lot of I, I guess, a lot of this special talks about, uh, I mean, say, for instance, they say Don King may not do illegal things, but he does immoral things. Well, you know, this is what they got to do. These are negative associations. They can couple enough negative associations with black people, and they can make it undesirable conditions. Then if you don't like the undesirable and offensive condition, and you don't like the negative association, you don't like the person because they become synonymous. So I'm so good at what I do, and, and, and I do it in America, in the American way, that they can't they can't really put it out there like they would like to do it, so they got to make me a bad character to render people from not dealing with me. You understand? Mm -hmm. They don't want you to be close to me. You know what I mean? They don't want, they don't want me to... I preach liking yourself, having confidence in yourself. Having confidence in America, I understand the iniquities and injustice in America, but I also know this is the greatest country in the world. So when I support this country, I'm supporting it for the very reason that I have a recourse. I have a chance to uh, face my accuser. I have a chance to get redressed. And every time they take me to the bar of justice, I walk away unclear. You understand what I mean? Unscathed. But so what they can't stand with is now they're going to go to public consumption with innuendo, insinuation, accusation, vilification, and castigation, all unfounded. You understand? <laughs> you know, this is a great country, man, only in America. Yeah. In, in, in your defense, there were people who said good things about you. There's a gentleman named Seth Abraham, who was the president of Time Warner. Well, I think that what happened is he's, uh, he's the president of HBO. But isn't it strange that when I left Seth Abraham and HBO, that all these things come down on me? Don't forget, now, I was with HBO for 13 years. But, and, but he said good things about you. I understand, I understand. But he didn't say the virtuous things like the qualities and attributes that I delivered for 13 years on every deal that I ever made with him. Okay, Never but, but, broke but, my okay, word. No, but he, he said you were bright. And he said, it, you know, in, in another walk of life, you'd be a grand chess master and things of that. He said good things. Well, listen. Listen, that, listen, those things are good, but that's superficiality. You must understand something. If a person is going to kill you characterly, assassinate your reputation, what about our senior hall? He's an honest man. He has integrity. He's always delivered on everything he's done. I've done this man, dealt with him for 13 years. I don't believe that he would do such and such and such. Don't talk about how crackling smart my brain is. You understand what I mean? Don't, don't do all these little dance through the tulips on me. You understand what I mean? You know what I mean? So you got to understand you got to see through the bigger picture. You understand? There's a bigger picture here. You know what I mean? Okay, we'll take a little commercial and come right back with oh, the I'm bigger so picture. Oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Don. My man. And without a rehearsal. You're doing it, baby. You're doing it. Boy, oh boy. Um, uh, where should we go? Oh, also in, in this thing, I guess they show old footage, and you come to a fight with Frazier, and he loses, and you leave with Foreman or something like that. Yes, <laughs> that's true. That's business. That's you know very funny. funny. <laughs> That was the beginning, man, when it was big George Foreman going in there and coming out, and we had been training with him, and he, I thought he was going to win. He said he was going to win, and then when he did win, I went over there and told him and congratulated him and became his promoter. You know what I mean? That's what it is. But I wasn't promoting Joe Frazier. Uh -huh. I was just riding with him. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That's the American way. Okay, okay, okay. But would you believe, would you believe that it's a conspiracy out to character assassinate me and put me out of business? This is what I believe. In my opinion, you know, Jack Newfield and Jose Torres are very good friends. They said they're the best of friends. Now, we're not going to get sued now. No, you, no, but this is, I'm saying this. I'm taking responsibility for what I say, because this is my opinion. Okay. You know, and since I'm on your show, I just want to inform the American public whom I love and whom I respect and who has really supported me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now, Jose Torres... Well, I don't think nobody's going to put you out of business. Look at yeah. the size of this cross, man. That's Jesus. Yeah. That's Jesus. The yeah. cross, this is the ornaments don't mean it, but all that means is that I am a Christian. I'm saved. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Master Slam, and I put my faith in him, and he's never failed me yet. 
Okay. You know what I mean? All right? Okay. So that's, just, that's, what, that's the equation that they don't know about. Yeah. But now let's get back to this here. Okay, let's do it quickly because I got one okay. more thing I got to ask Okay, you. Joe Spinelli. Uh -huh. He's the godfather of Jose Torres' children. You know what I mean? Joe Spinelli, Jack Newfield, and, uh, and, and, and Jose Torres, all in this together. And then you put in that I was with SI. That's Sports Illustrated, very prestigious magazine. Two times they sent investigative reporters on me. They did big stories, found out that I wasn't with mobs, but they got dreams about me being with mobs. Yeah. And they spiked the story. They wouldn't put the story out. Two times. Now, without talking to me, they put out this story with this uh, Joe Spinelli, with all these innuendos and rumors, and put me with John Gotti. You know what I mean? I'm having oh, dinner with John see, Gotti. Just these names are scaring me, man. I mean, they're scared of what they want to do. They want to scare the public. No, I, I saw Goodfellas. I saw Godfather. That's all I know. That's all I know. Well, you know what? It, you, know. you know, and that's a good way to be, and I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> they make the media. They, they're trying to scare people from me. Look I'm at that. Just now, look, a comedian. I'm and, just a comedian. And, and you know something? If you feel, if you react that way, what do you think that they would be doing to the American public if they wasn't in the infinite wisdom so wise to see that this is a, con a, a plot, a scheme? to knock out a guy who loves this country, not a guy who hates the country. I live for this country. This is a great country, the greatest in the world, only in America. Fantastic country. Okay. All right, yeah. give me what you got, man. Take your best shot. Oh, I don't want to take shots, man. I, I, I try oh, to just disperse yeah. information, maybe sometimes play the devil's advocate. I, I, oh. I just, I'm just trying to create oh, an interesting wonderful. show, you know? Oh, and you got um, one night. You got yeah. one. Yeah, Oh, yeah. man, Johnny Gill been cooking, you know what I mean? Giving and, us and that you know, soda. Johnny Gill just Ooh. came here and I said, hang with me, man. And this is no rehearsal. This is all improv. This Johnny's is doing it in the commercials. And that's what a star is. Yeah. When you can move, man. Yeah. Yeah. Im improvisation. Yeah. Yes. 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 And you can separate yeah. the mediocrity into the excellence. And a good yes. It, yes. That's what we need. Friends. Okay. Unity. Okay. okay. Universal. Let me ask you. Unity. Yeah, let me ask you about a friend of yours. Mm -hmm. Um, Don King, uh, Don King, oh, God. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, <laughs> Mike. Tyson is a good friend of Don King's, as you know. Yes. How is Mike? Mike is doing fine, and I love Mike. You know, I'm really appreciative of Mike because Mike stands up for self and confidence for self, and he stands up for us all because he exemplifies America. He's Americana. He's an urchin from the ghetto that's making it in this country and understands it, but we got to deal with this here because he's, a, he's, he's recuperating now from his rib pull. Mm -hmm. He's going to be all right, and that's why they're running from us. They run from 100 million promotion. But I thought, I thought Mike got hurt and stopped. No, 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 but it could have been rescheduled. But I seen a man make a business decision. Rather than to reschedule this fight, he want to hope that Mike goes to jail so he don't have to fight him and he just go away. You understand? Uh, if you got a hundred million promotion, I see, and you was going to jail the next day, I put the promotion on the day before. You know what I mean? Then we'd deal with whether you go to jail or not. That's business. You understand? I mean, you have some money to do what you have to do. But here's a man would forego an opportunity, and you don't, after you know the 27th, due process takes his, uh, takes over. Mm -hmm. Before then, we could do any fight we could. Caesar's Palace want to do the fight, I want to do the fight, Dan Duke want to do the fight, Seth Abraham didn't want to do the fight, and he had some jive reasons about it's cold. It ain't got to do with that the, the place is sold out two times. You know what I mean? And then he says, well, I won't get as much for the people in the home. They ain't going to be there in the homes. Then he said the Super Bowl. And in the Super Bowl, that makes it a better promotion for a promoter like me to join with the Super Bowl, the Super Fight and the Super Bowl, all in one week, the fans will love it. Super Bowl is free. You pay for the, pay for the Tyson fight. So, I mean, all the excuses he used were very flimsy facades to avoid fighting Tyson because it's all about economics. It's about money and power. If Tyson fights Holyfield, he's going to knock him out. He knocks him out, they out of business. You understand? That's what the problem is. That's why this conspiracy is afoot to get rid of us with King Vision. Another first for us, uh, a $200 million pay-per-view network of people of color in this great nation. Don't you tell me nothing bad about America. Okay. Man, great as this country is, you just have to work at it. You know it's a double standard, but you have to... You got to keep working that much harder, just as you did. Okay, you, we got about 15, 10 seconds. What rule? Um, you, 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 you mentioned the word jail. Is, is, how is Mike's case? It's... Well, we can't discuss this case, but he's okay. going to get due process. Okay. That's all you really want, man. This is a great country. Make the country work. That's why I love George Bush. A lot of people don't like to understand that. Uh -huh. I, but I love the man because the man goes there and fight. Now what we got to do is make him cognizant of what the domestic problems is. He did a yeoman's job foreign-wise. Yeah. You can't get around that. Okay. You understand what I mean? So now we got to deal with it. And then the way he stood up for George Clarence Thomas. Yeah. Rarely do you see that happen, that a man will stand up for a man like he stood up for George Clarence Thomas. And he was vindicated in the end because due process and justice do work if you get in there and nudge it. Does work. Does work. Yes. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? 
everything. Well, I don't do everything. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why I come to you because I don't do everything. No, don't, no, don't, don't worry about that. You know what I mean? Sometimes a word may get misjumbled somewhere, but the understanding, the feeling in the heart is there. We got a great president in George Bush, and I'm going to support him. Okay, and uh, in in one second, I got one second. Um, what do you think of guys like Tim Witherspoon and Larry Holmes who are out there trying to say that you've cheated boxers, you're a crook, you're this, you're that? Then talk about Muhammad Ali, talk about George Foreman, Ken Norton, Jimmy Young, Roberto Duran, uh, uh, oh, oh, Gomez, wait. all these guys that have made millions with me, and including Larry Holmes. I left him with 20 million. So now, you got to understand, he couldn't read or write when I got it. You know what I mean? If, if a guy is stealing from me and he leave me with 20 and I can't read or write, come on, I'll see you. Be with me, baby. <laughs> 